I wish I could spend every minute with you. Mommy has to work so hard. I mean, you could reframe that all of your great success at such a young age has positioned you to be able to spend time with your baby. Yeah. What about play dates and hanging out with kids? Because at five months, moms are all getting together and dads. Mm -hmm. Like all my cousins, my sister, everyone's doing music classes and all of these mommy and me things together and I don't have time to do any of those things, so. Could you bring them to you, like have a class here? Yeah, I've been wanting to do that. But then I also get nervous with him being around so many people because he's so little that he'll get sick. This seems to me it could be a little bit of a trauma response, that if you bond with him more and take him out and about, something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. Can you hear it in what you're saying? Yeah. So when it comes to trauma and anxiety, we always want our decisions to be made on data, not feelings. What's good for development with children is the thousands and thousands of interactions that they have with their mothers back and forth. In the first two years of life, the mother actually regulates the child's um, heartbeat, respiration. Holding the baby, you're still regulating all of his systems. Yeah. And gazing eyes back and forth. Yeah. That's really good for their development. Um, talking to him. Mm -hmm. Are you hot? I think he's hot uh, in his pants. Is he hot? I think mm -hmm. so. Does I he have a little onesie on? Yeah, they're like... Uh. <laughs> Are you hot? The baby nanny, she always loves being so hot. Like The heater is always on. I always say, isn't he hot? And she said, no. They like it. Okay, so this is where you should trust yourself in terms of what, what you think is good for the baby. You are the mother. Yeah. She's not. I know, but she's like done this millions of times. You've given up authority to the baby nanny. I'm sorry, but that's wrong. It is? Mm-hmm. Because you're the expert, not her. It doesn't matter how many babies she's raised. That's your baby. You're the expert on your child. I think the question is, do you want the nanny to be the primary attachment figure or do you want to be the primary attachment? I think that you should ask yourself that. I just feel like I'm not responsible. Okay. What you're telling me makes no sense. If you were so irresponsible, you wouldn't have a multi-billion dollar empire. It makes no sense. So how much do you want to change this? Because I can help you work on it, but I don't want to force you. I think about just like figuring out that like work-life balance. Like I love what I do and I feel so grateful just to be in this <coughs> position, but I definitely don't want to miss all the moments with him. Mm-hmm.